There are 54 species of seahorse in the genus Hippocampus and they belong to the family Sagnithidae, which are a family of fish that includes pipefishes and the reedy and leafy sea dragons. The term Hippocampus derives from the ancient Greek term Hippos, meaning horse, and Kampos, meaning sea monster. Seahorses swim in shallow, temperate and tropical waters around the world. Seahorses are poor swimmers, so they mainly live in sheltered areas such as estuaries, coral reefs, mangroves and sea grass beds. Seahorses are bony fish, so they don't have scales but instead have thin skin which is stretched over bony plates that are arranged around rings that lie throughout their bodies. The way they swim is to propel themselves using a small fin that is on their back which flutters up to 35 times a second. They will then steer themselves using smaller pectoral fins which are located at the back of their head. The slowest fish in the world is the dwarf seahorse, which has a recorded top speed of 1.5 meters per hour. Seahorses have long snouts that they use to suck up food and have eyes that move independently from each other, much like a chameleon. When they are not swimming, seahorses rest by anchoring themselves to corals and sea grasses with their prehensile tails. Seahorses are great at camouflage and have the ability to change their colour and to grow skin filaments so they can fit in with their surroundings. Seahorses have huge appetites due to the energy that they need to swim and they consume food such as plankton, small crustaceans and brine shrimp. In fact, they have been known to eat up to 3,000 brine shrimp in a day. Seahorses are the only animal species on earth where the male has the ability to bear young. Male seahorses have a brood pouch on their front facing side which the female will deposit her eggs into and then the male will fertilise. He will carry the eggs for up to 45 days until they hatch fully formed young seahorses into the open seas. Seahorses are monogamous creatures and so will stay with one partner and mate with them for life. This is unlike other sea creatures. Seahorses are vulnerable to extinction as they are a big favourite for harvesters to use in medicine or in aquariums. They are also vulnerable to pollution and the destruction of habitat.